Are you? Oh, three, <laughs> two, one. What's your name and what city are you repping? My name's Ricky Bandana. I'm from Troy, New York. Troy, New York, man. So what's what's the name Ricky Bandana? Where where did I come from? I know you got the bandana on deck right now, but yeah, this one got a zipper on it too. Oh, you got the zipper. Yeah. You got the stash. You know. Bandana? Yeah, hell yeah. How could how could someone get one of those? Uh, I haven't set up like a like a framework for it yet, but I make them myself. So when I do, there's gonna be like a spot, a little website for it, and everything. Okay, okay. So, so if they want a custom, they could just hit hit you up on the gram. Yep, for sure. Ricky right, Bandana. Say no, say no more, man. So uh, you dropped a project last year. Um, talk about that a little bit, man. I did. Uh, the project's called Fresh Air. Um, I self-produced it. I did the original mixes in house, then sent them out to my boy BG. Shout out to VG. Uh, he actually gave me the name Ricky Bandana. So I was like just freestyling for a while and then met him in the studio, happened to be wearing a bandana that day. And he was like, what's your name? I was like, oh, Ricky. He was like, Ricky what? Uh, Ricky Bandana? And I was like, nah, bro, but I'm taking that. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, that's where the name came from. So I, I, know, uh, I know you've been taking trips down to the city, man, to hop on the, uh, one, the one train cypher, man. So talk yeah. about that experience, man. That's been dope. Um, shout out my boy Steven Mules and uh, everyone down there. He he basically just reaches out to independent artists and we all come together at a spot and freestyle. Um, he's the videographer for Russ right now. So he gives everyone an opportunity. There's a couple kids that their freestyles did like three, four hundred thousand on TikTok and yeah. all this other stuff. So he's, he's a cool guy, really cool experience. Um, I'm pulling up to every one of them. So. <laughs> Talk about the importance of, uh, you know, doing stuff like that, like traveling, you know, as a, as a music artist. Uh, traveling's real important. I think it's, like, one of the most important things. Like, uh, like when I dropped my um, project, I went to a festival. And for, like, it was, like, a three-day festival in Baltimore. And I actually didn't even listen to a single band that was playing one of the days. I just walked around and, like, spread my information to as many people as I could. My album dropped the next day, and then I woke up, messaged everybody like as it was dropping, and it did like 15,000 off rip on Spotify. So I think um, <clears throat> traveling and like networking, it's probably one of the most important things. Like it'll get you, it'll get you in rooms that like you know matter and shit. Yeah, you had a you had a big uh, big 2022 man. You met uh the the. Was it the CEO of Cookies or like speak on that a little bit? I can't say too too much about that on camera. But, okay. Um, it was basically like birthday party combined with a seed drop and a pheno hunt. There's like different phenotypes in marijuana, and um, this specific one was like a competition with 200 other people that uh, he picks a winner out, gives you royalties on the shelf of the strain, and then you get like a personal cut from his garden and everything so where so uh you know we, we it's kind of you know it's technically quote unquote legal now so uh yeah, yeah it's coming it's coming along so, so. uh for you you know uh, i've seen a couple of different uh celebrities say that you know they were uh hiring uh professional rollers so you know when ricky Bandana makes it you gonna be hiring a roller or are you gonna be rolling it yourself i'm probably gonna always roll it myself <laughs> it's like it's like therapeutic at this point like i mean that's just my personal opinion. I don't know. <laughs> like I, I'll just sit and roll up for like hours, and I won't even smoke, and I'll still get you know high off that. <laughs> so I got a question: Are you high right now? Oh, I'm st super stoned. I am baked. That's <laughs> <laughs> my boy. The <laughs> only reason I didn't spark it is because tell, tell them the brand. <laughs> I only smoke Turkey Boys. Turkey Boys. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so now, uh, when you hear more music, less violence, what comes to mind, man? Uh, when I hear mu more music, less violence, what comes to mind for me is probably passion, just because it's like, I was part of your first one, and uh, thank you, you know? Yes, sir. Like Gian was saying, I'm super proud of you, bro. We've been rocking with each other for a minute, and uh, I've called you randomly at times, and you've had a full day of events, and we've still made it down to New York City for, like, you know, my album release party, so there's stuff that you do for people that, as like beyond just an artist as a person like you always make sure you go the extra mile bro and i just really want to thank you for that because there's not a lot of people 
in positions that you're in that go out of their way to do that like the same stuff that steve does down in the city yeah. and it's like you know what i mean it's good for the youth it's good for the community it's good for a lot of different reasons but yeah man i think passion because it's just like a room full of people that really care about um like what we're doing so yes sir yes sir yes sir so um yeah man so the question i've been asking everybody if mlk was alive today Who's the artist you think he would be bumping uh, in his whip? I'm going to have to say LaRussell. LaRussell? LaRussell. Okay. And why you say LaRussell? Just because of the messages that he puts in his music and how he's like constantly trying to like uplift whatever room of people he's in. It doesn't matter. Like It's just the vibe of the content and the stuff that he's creating. Like I think MLK would be tapped into that for sure. I like that. I like that. I like that. So, uh, yeah, man, the first, so you performed at the first one, uh, More Music, Less Violence, but this is our first uh, annual concert gala, man. Are you ready? I'm more than ready. I'm excited. All right, say no I'm more, excited. man. Uh, see you then. Hell yeah. Man, I should have said you. It's the 